So they've closed the door. So that was the entrance to the cave, which was, so just to tell you the story a little bit, we're talking about 250, 250 AD, when Christianity had just, just begun. It was not a very welcomed religion at that time. Um, people worshipped many, many gods. And there was this group, seven people, seven gentlemen, from uh, who had newly accepted this religion and they were trying to live by it by you know the oneness of God of Allah but the king of the time learned about their existence and he gave orders to have them killed one of the Christians one of the many believers of that time worked in the court of the king he learned about this and he was able to warn his friends so the friends the seven friends and their dog they took refuge in this cave and so the king had sent out you know many people to look for them he had sent he had used a lot of resources but nobody was able to find them so as a result what the king ordered was let's just close those doors those caves you know because they knew that was the only hideout right I mean look at where I am right now I mean Abito civilization eh? back in the day desert right it's, and this is located at, at a certain hill so they sort of blocked the entrance and then those seven Christians you know pray to Allah to sort of protect them and Allah subhana said ke tum log mere liye fight kar rahe ho for the oneness of Allah I will protect you and he put them to sleep for 300 years they went to sleep for 300 years so they woke up fresh after a good night's sleep they woke up and one of them went out into the, you know, village to get some food. Hey, it's breakfast time. He stepped out. The landscape has changed. What are those people wearing? What is this structure? What is this building? What's going on? He saw a little store, supermarket or corner shop, I would say. And he gave whatever money he had, coins he had. And the merchant goes, oh my God, what are you guys wearing? What are you wearing? Not Guy, sorry, because he was the only one who went out. What are you wearing? What coin is this? Nobody uses that anymore. And he thought maybe they had discovered a treasure, a hidden treasure. The king got to know about this. His leading bishop of the time, who had heard from his ancestors, I believe, or in scriptures about seven men going into cave and Allah putting them to sleep, he came to meet them. He saw them and, you know, everything sort of fit like a puzzle. Okay, so that's what happened. But such an overwhelming experience it was for those seven men. They prayed to Allah to finish their lives because they were not in the same era, the same time. Imagine us waking up 300 years down the road. We don't have our families with us, no friends, nothing is recognizable. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them death along with the dog. So the dog's remains apparently were found outside. I was told that the dog's remains were taken to a um, 
to a museum, but the guide here said no, no dog remains were ever taken anywhere. So the seven sleepers of the cave are still sleeping together, all of them, in one single grave. And that's another miracle, you know, of Allah Subhanahu. Caves. Something that never ends, eh? Nothing's damaged in a cave. It's a very long preserving area. Anyway, so that was... And this, this story is mentioned in Surah Kaf, right? In the Quran. And I'm so grateful to Allah Subhanahu that I was able to come here and, and see that in person. Never, never had I dreamed of doing that. But Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Hi guys, I am at the Cave of Seven Sleepers. I came yesterday, but they had already closed it. Right now, it is around three o'clock and I'm being rushed there because they're gonna close it very soon. So I'm gonna run, 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 run. Thank you. Sorry? Okay, thank you. Whatever that meant. So the story of the seven sleepers, I will tell you more after I've made the video because I don't want to miss my very small window. As you can see, people travel from afar, every age, every race, to see this, this living. You can see through the window, through the... I don't know if we can see... I thought I could see the remains, but I can't. They've sealed everything. I wonder what this is. The dog? No, maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's the chimney. So that's where they had access to air in the cave. So these were probably the objects they left, they used, pots and whatnot. I wish I could read what it says. These are the graves of the sleepers. After yeah. they slept, then they woke up, then they died. The people at that time buried them here. This is the first cover, the second one, the third one, and the fourth at the back. 
here in Quarry Graves and their region, sort of seven, but it's empty now. Jordanian government gathered all the remains of the bones and put it here in this one. Many people ask me about this symbol. This is star here, that's not Jewish star. That's one six point, but here it's eight. Eight, it means seven guys and one dog took an eight or one man. This area in Arabic we call an temple. The guys, they used to sleep here, and the dog, it was outside the temple. Sometimes I used to come from this tunnel at midday when sunset came from the door. This cave was a natural cave. So, those are the remains of all of them put together. Very hard to get in there.